Okay, so we're going to wrap up with this example. Um, so here we've got a curve in the plane. It's a circle of radius 3 centered at the origin. We've got our function. Um, so first thing we got to do, we got to parameterize the curve. And fortunately, there's a standard parameterization for a circle centered at the origin. We can take x to be 3 cos t. We can take y to be 3 sine t, with t between 0 and 2 pi. Okay? So s is, of course, the uh, you know, s of t is going to be 3 cos t, 3 sine t. Um, the nice thing here is that when we, when we define the derivative, s prime, it's not so bad, right? s prime is going to be uh, minus 3 sine t, 3 cos t. The length of s prime, well, we're quite happy about that because the length of s prime is going to be the square root of 9 sine squared t plus 9 cos squared t. The length is simply 3, right? It's constant, which is nice because usually in a lot of these cases you probably remember computing arc length. Once you get some function under that square root, it's going to cause all kinds of trouble for actually evaluating the integral. So here we're lucky, we get a constant value of 3. Um, so what does the integral look like, right? The integral over c of s ds it's going to be the integral, so we go from 0 to 2 pi. Um, we go, so f of x, y is going to be, so x is 3 cos t, 3y, three 9 sine t. We multiply by the length of s prime, which is 3, and then we integrate with respect to t, right? So just to make sure that everything's matched up here, this is f of s of t. This is my length of s prime. And we integrate. And uh, well, I think that integration, you know, this is probably an easy enough integral that I don't have to do it for you. Um, we can sort that out, right? Um, actually, we know what's, you're going to get, uh, well, you're not going to get much, are you? Um, I think you're going to get zero, right? Cos t, sine t, yeah, not much is going to happen there. Um, she gets zero. All right, um, so we'll, uh, we'll do some more examples like this. So we're going to move on. We're going to talk about vector fields. We're going to do integrals of vector fields over curves. Um, but we're going to leave that for another time.